Hello again. There is a very modern piece of mythology which is to the effect that Jews were behind the transatlantic slave trade and that most of the profits made in the course of that enterprise went to those merchants. This idea was dreamed up in the 1970s by the Nation of Islam group in the United States and it plays on the historic enmity and suspicion which exists between African Americans and Jews. There's not a word of truth in the idea, but I thought that it might be interesting to examine a case where there is not the least doubt about the involvement of a particular group of Jews in the slave trade. This was not, however, the transatlantic trade, but a much less well-known one, which was the export of castrated slaves from Europe to the Muslim nations of North Africa and the Middle East. It's a very intriguing topic because few of us, when visualising the eunuchs who were guarding the harem of some sultan or other, would think that they were nearly all white Europeans. Still less would we suspect for a moment that they had been castrated on an industrial scale by organisations in the Italian city of Venice and the French city of Verdun. Nor are we probably aware of the role of a particular kind of Jewish trader in the process of transferring these eunuchs from Europe to Africa and Asia. I've published an essay on this subject on my Substack account and I give a link to it in the description to this video. It's free to read. This seemed to me the best way to explore the topic because it enables me to insert references so that readers can check the sources upon which I rely for themselves. Just click on the link and prepare to be amazed.